This is JT Turner of the Woodrow Instrument Company, and in this video we're going to talk about reading sheet music. Now, in another video we talked about the basics of reading sheet music, and we focused um, all of our attention in that video to the key of D and went over the full range of the instrument itself. In this one, we're going to talk about reading music that isn't written in the same key that the instrument's tuned to. So usually our instrument's tuned to the key of D. But what if we have music that's written in a different key? I get this question a lot when I'm at shows and talking to customers. Well, how do I play music that's in other keys? Now, there's one of two things you could do. You could retune the instrument. So the Woodrow, most of them are tuned to D, D, A, D. So you could retune it to a different key. But what is a little easier to do is to take music that's in a different key and just translate it to whatever key you're in. And it's very easy to do. So you're going to focus on, or what you want to focus on, is the position of the note in the scale. That's how we're going to analyze the music. So here we have a D major scale. The first note of our scale is going to be D. If we were in the key of C, the first note of our scale would be C. Now, my instrument right now is tuned to the key of D. So if I strum it open, that's going to be D. Because we're focusing on the highest pitch string. If I just pick that open, I've got a, a D, a middle D, right there. So the first note of my scale would be zero. Because when I write tablature, when I write the music, that open strum is just represented by zero. All right. So then the next note of the scale, the second note, or this E, would be uh, represented by the number one. That, that's because zero is the first note, one is the second note. Position one would be the second note of the scale. So we're going to write a one, and so on as we go up the scale. So it the, um, the tablature always falls one number behind the position of the note. First note is zero, second note is one, third note is two, and so on as we go up. I'm going to go ahead and write the numbers of each note for the tablature. All right, we have one or zero through seven which is the full range of our instrument. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. All right, all we have to do for music in the key of D, or the music here, is just write the same, um, same tablature under the corresponding note. I'm gonna do that very quickly. Hopefully you can read my chicken scratch. And you might recognize this already. This is You Are My Sunshine. So all I did was I took the same number under the corresponding note and write it down under here. This is how we, how we um, translated music in our last video. But now let's look here in the key of C. Now even after I change this and play it, I'm still going to play it in whatever key this is in. So if this is in D, that's okay. I'm going to play this in the key of D. I'm not going to feel inclined to retune it unless I'm playing with someone else or unless I'm just in the mood for a, set, a different key. So let's figure out how to translate this and play it on the D scale instead. So C, again, is going to be the first note of my scale. So the first note of my scale gets a zero. All right, and just like before, the next note, or that D there, would be one, and so on as we go up the next scale. So I'm just gonna write zero through seven. Now that's how we play C scale in the key of D. It's the exact same thing. It's a major scale as you go up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Now remember to check your key signature so you know what key would be the first note. All right, we're going to do the same thing to this piece of music. I'm going to write the uh, corresponding number under the corresponding note. Now, one thing that you probably didn't notice was I wasn't checking over on this side for uh, to see what to see what number, except for this first one. I was like, okay, I see the G there. What's the G? G is going to be the fifth note of the scale, so that's that's number four there. So, but after that, all I did was check to see where the note moved to. Well, if that's four, then the next position up would be five, and it goes down one position to the line, that's going to be four, and so on as we get to the end. That's, that's all I did. It makes it a little bit quicker. So feel free to go ahead and uh, pause the video and play that line. This is going to be in your songbook as well. London Bridge, four, five, four, three, two. Three, four, one, two, three. There you go. So now we're playing London Bridge, which is written here in the key of C, but we just translated it so we could play it in whatever key I'm tuned to. And I just happen to be in the key of D, so I'm playing this in D. Even if I have a little rambler, actually I'm going to grab a little rambler. All right, here I am with uh, one of our rambler series. This is in the key of A. Doesn't matter. This is why a lot of our music is written in numbers in the tablature. So no matter what key I'm in, I could play the same song. But just so it happens that I'm playing in A right now. That's okay. I know what key I'm playing in, and just translating the music here. Now let's do the very last line. I've got that music in the key of G. And again, note the key signature, that's how we tell the key. So if I'm in the key of G, and I didn't write the scale here, we're just gonna do this without, without having that scale. Now, if I'm in the key of G, the first note of my scale is what I'm looking for. Okay, so what's the first note in the key of G? Well, that's going to be your G. And fortunately for us, our song starts on the G. So the first note of the scale gets zero. That's the position number. All right, then we go up a whole octave, all the way up to a high G. Well. The last note that we can play on your instrument, that's an octave higher. So that would be the seventh position along the instrument. Let's go ahead and put a seven under that. Okay, now I'm going to use the same method I just described. If it goes down one, I'm just going to change the fret position, down a number. If it goes up, I'm going to count that many up and put down the appropriate position number. So. It goes to that high G, then it goes down one note. So it takes me a while to do my alphabet, but that should be F. All right, and I was on seven, so that F should be six. Okay, so it took me a little time there, but now I've got it. We've just labeled the position number of each note. Our tonic, our first note of the scale, which is G, gets that zero. We go octave higher, so we're at the very end. We label that last note there as seven, because we're a full octave higher. Go down one note, so we're going to go down one position to six. Go down two to four, up one to five, and I'm just following the, the bars and the lines here to figure out how the music moves. All right, so we're going to give that a whirl. Now, this one is also found in your book. If you haven't already started playing this and figuring that out, it's going to be uh, somewhere over the rainbow. So let's see if I did it right. Zero, seven, six. Four, five, six, seven. Open. Five, four. And again, 
I'm playing in the key of A right now. I've got my little rambler, it's tuned to A, E, A. And my music's in the key of G. So all we did was we were taking the music and we're not playing in the key of G, we're playing in the key of A. We just changed this to a, to a format that makes it easy for me to figure out the song and play the same song in a different key, which is the key that we're tuned in, which is A. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. I hope nothing I said was too confusing here. Um, once you get a little practice with this, it's uh, fairly simple to do. I went ahead, I used some common keys, some keys that are pretty easy to figure out and that are uh, played fairly often. So hopefully with a little practice and, um, and uh, understanding, you'll be able to do this yourself. All right, good luck and uh, happy picking.